Hi guys, it's Olga here and that's the even Scrap Your Heart Out where we celebrating the scrapbooking day. And I'm starting with the paper clash and this one is sped up really fast because this project went bad and I rescue it to the point where I'm quite content with it. Uh, but right now we are still on the phase of me loving it. I love to make this paper mosaic in the background. I love how I can incorporate different patterns and I'm using here AB Studio papers. I will try to remember to link everything down below and I secure them really well. I covered them with clear gesso and then with white gesso and then I wanted the vintage effect and that's how uh, we end up with the situation that I wasn't happy with. I tried to stencil it out and then to paint it over but it didn't work out really for me so well so yeah that's the bad part. <laughs> we will move to the fixing part unfortunately I have to cover like everything um, before I was happy and it's not like it was a bad effect it was just not the one that I was going for. Uh, here I'm struggling. Uh, I struggled all the time during this uh, process. Normally I do the layout in one hour and a half, maybe two hours tops and this one took me whole day. In the meantime I was chit chatting with my friend. You will see me struggling with the headphones somewhere on, on that video. The white cable will be all the time uh, in the video because I was chatting with Belinda. She's also helping alone. Um, about how to you know it wasn't a best day to create and i i was stubborn and i wanted to do this layout anyway i wanted to make it work um i used uh, different scraps of different papers underneath uh, the picture uh, just to make a visually pleasing composition uh, and it's supposed to fit uh, on my background and at this point I knew that I want to go over it again with the paper mosaic uh, that will be sped up no worries you will not have to uh, look at me um, going through that process <laughs> again um, but actually here we have my real crafty process in very sped up version uh, I struggle a lot with the placement of things and with the commitment. If I don't prepare ahead, I always prepare ahead of the videos or live streams. I have few ideas that I can run with because uh, otherwise we are moving with the really uh, turtle speed of assembling everything and that's nothing nice to watch. Trust me, I was watching myself <laughs> going through that struggle when I was editing and it was nothing nice. So I'm adding more of those papers because they got lost. Uh, I love the orange paint that I put on. It's uh, Tiger Orange from Finaba, but uh, I wanted light, airy, shabby cheek project and it didn't went as I planned. Uh, I was hoping that my paint, the brown one, I will be able to wipe it out almost too white and I wasn't. Um, I think that uh, retar retarder that I added to my paint just make it stick much better to the surface. So I reapplied part of my uh, collage. I uh, covered my composition with um, with some old boots and washi tape and when I was putting the tape on I decided that yeah I want the tape on the project. So now we are going with different tapes like crazy. I used painter's tape and two washi tapes that I really liked and at this stage I'm liking my project again and here goes my new light and uh, yeah it's very very bright I have to adjust it a little bit that was the first uh, first tryout but I have new lights especially for you and then I went through the stencils with gesso and I used AB Studio stencils and Team Hold stencils just to stencil out some stuff that I was hoping that will be visible in the background 
around and I took off my masking from the areas that I didn't want to stencil on and then added texture paste via um, AB Studio stencil with tiny dots. I love it. Um, I rotated my artwork a lot because I wanted uh, this stenciling to be in the really particular areas and I went on top with the scraps of papers again and I have a lot of scraps uh, like that those tiny little bits and pieces I saved them all for the reason that I really like the composition with uh, paper pieces would you believe that <laughs> I decided that I want this feeling from the collection in the past from AB Studio to carry on through all the artwork. So I added some black thread and I added a book pages uh, underneath my thread uh, into my composition layers and I divided everything with a little bit of chipboard for dimension. I whited out some areas that were not covered with paper, that's why I took a tiny brush just to make sure that uh, all the orange is muted down and then I went with um, brown acrylic ink and I'm using it like I would use watercolor on wet surface with a lot of water to have really diluted color there is a ton of gesso on that project so I'm not worried about underbending or any of those stuff. Uh, I also added some touches of pink because you could see in the real life when you look up closely, you can still see the flowers from the first layer, from the one that I really loved and I highly regret covering that. I will probably uh, remake the project uh, to have those flowers because I really love those flower uh, papers. And then I decided that it's time to add some embellishments around my photo and the photo is always the most important part of the artwork and on that particular photograph there is a great grandmother of my husband she was a teacher and she's probably checking the ha uh, homework or the tests uh, for the students I didn't mention the clock that was underneath the photo because I knew that I would <laughs> rip it off on some some part it was covering too much of this beautiful paper in the background that I wanted to be visible all the bits and pieces that I'm putting here I fussy cut from AB Studio papers uh, with each collection they have a lot of uh, beautiful elements and I really love those uh, watercolor leaves uh, they are all having this uh, hand painted feeling uh, and they look just marvelous because I have some orange still picking out I decided to just run with the idea and I added also the orange elements to my composition and this coralish flowers so everything uh, looks nice <laughs> and cohesive uh, I added some stamping with random letters from AB Studio and uh, I wanted some leaves and I was trying a different pens and I should again hold on on this uh, moment when the lines were really thin I used the stencil and I just drew over it um, I wanted to thicker the lines, but not to this extent, definitely need more pens. I cut off the part of the composition that was hanging underneath the photo because I decided that no, it's it's way too much. And then I tried uh, the technique with uh, stenciling again, but it didn't stand out enough. I really loved this one with uh, writing inside the stencils. I rediscovered this one lately and I just can't put my Posca pens down but as you can see it was not visible enough it, it wasn't this striking effect I knew that I will add a little bit of dry brushing on top um, so when I grabbed my gesso I decided just to sponge uh, down a little bit of texture through this uh, Tim Holtz stencil and I will grab the bigger one with some wording and letters as well and I will sponge that around as well um, I really 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 like um, using stencils with the sponge it looks super cool 
and it was just somehow fitting and I was using this stencil before. I cut it out from the footage because uh, uh, it wasn't uh, a crucial step and you could cannot see that at this point of the work anyway so yeah so now time for dry brush and for dry brushing I like to use a um, makeup like brush super super soft that will give me a white haze that I can uh, spread around without covering everything completely because I don't want to cover those uh, those areas and uh, I already start to liking those uh, leaves and those elements and because I put so much effort into this artwork now it's one of the most important ones for me <laughs> Uh, as the finishing touch, I added a little bit of dried freesia flowers here and there. Uh, and I will also add black thread again to bring back this amazing feeling that uh, the collection in the past gave me. And that will be it. Uh, so if you are still here and I didn't bored you to death, uh, please check out the description box, all the info about Hop, all the other links will be in my description box down below and it's really amazing fun with uh, amazing talented artists. They, uh, at the 2nd of May um, there will be also a YouTube uh, live Hop. Uh, in uh, in this topic uh, and scrap your heart out so please check it out uh, I promise you will have fun and um, and if you are here with the help and you enjoy this kind of content please leave me like and subscribe to my channel uh, I will highly appreciate it okay that's it from me today thank you very very much i wish you nice and creative day and see you on the next one bye